Cosmoceratops Richard Sony. Cosmoceratops Richard Sony is a ceratopsian dinosaur that lived during the Upper Cretaceous, approximately 76 million years ago, in what is now the region of the United States of America. Discovered in 2010 in Utah's Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument, Cosmoceratops is known for the extraordinary array of horns and ornamentation on its skull, which is among the most complex of all horned dinosaurs. Cosmoceratops was a large quadrupedal herbivore with an estimated length of 4.5 meters and a weight of about 1.2 tons. Like all ceratopsians, it had a large parrot-like beak and a strong armor plate consisting of a bony plate that extended from the back of the skull. The most notable feature of Cosmoceratops, however, is its striking horns. The skull of Cosmoceratops was adorned with a total of 15 horns, one on the snout, a pair above the eyes, a pair on the sides of the skull, and a series of ten spines that extended outward and backward from its shell. This spectacular array is the most complex known of ceratopsian dinosaurs, surpassing even Triceratops and Styracosaurus. The skull ornamentation of Cosmoceratops would have served multiple purposes. It is likely that the horns and spines were used for defense against predators, such as the terrible Tyrannosaurids of the time. Furthermore, the horning could have been used to recognize other members of the same species, and perhaps to compete for partners during courtship. The site where Cosmoceratops was discovered in southern Utah is known for its rich deposits of Upper Cretaceous dinosaurs, including a number of unique ceratopsians. This diversity of horned dinosaurs in a relatively small area suggests that the evolution of these animals was driven by complex and as yet incompletely understood processes. In conclusion, Cosmoceratops richardsoni is an exceptional specimen of ceratopsian dinosaur, known for its extraordinary horns. Its unique appearance and position among the diversity of horned dinosaurs offers a fascinating glimpse into life in the Upper Cretaceous.